So it's my pleasure to introduce to you Phil Berg. Hi, Phil. Pleasure to meet you. Okay. Hi, how are you? Pleasure. Good, good afternoon. Sorry I'm a little late. Um, I was at the printer and some, for all of you here, uh, some additional documentation is being sent over. I have a four-page, very detailed letter with all the exhibits, with many exhibits, which sets forth the fact that Barack Obama is really a phony. This is the largest hoax ever contemplated against the United States in over 200 years, and we're hopeful that some judge, someplace, will take heed and hear this case. Um, I wish to, so those documents shall be here shortly. Um, in, in addition, I have copies here of a press release which I'm putting out. The head note on the press release is U.S. Supreme Court asked to issue an injunction. We're filing an application for an injunction today to the U.S. Supreme Court to stay the electoral votes on December 15, 2008 until Obama proves he is qualified to be president as this is the largest hoax in 200 years. Obama knows he is not natural born, as he knows where he was born, and he knows he was adopted in Indonesia. Obama is an attorney, a Harvard Law grad, who taught constitutional law. Obama knows his candidacy is the largest hoax attempted on the citizens of the United States in over 200 years. Obama places our Constitution in a crisis situation, and Obama is in a situation where he can be blackmailed by leaders around the world who know he's not qualified. Hopefully, the Supreme Court will take our injunction. This is the document that is being filed today. Uh, it's an application to Justice David H. Souter for an immediate injunction prohibiting the certification of electors by the governors of each state to stay the Electoral College from casting any votes for Barack H. Obama on December 15, 2008, and the counting of any votes cast for Barack H. Obama by Vice President Richard B. Cheney, the House of Representatives, and the Senate on January 6, 2009, pending resolution of the petition for the writ of certiori. Our case is still pending. We're waiting now for a conference. We're waiting for the court to take it. I heard unfortunate news that the Donna Frio case wasn't taken today. Our case is distinguishable. I think our case, and I'll go through some of the facts right now, our case really sets forth the complete details why Obama is not qualified. What's, um, what do we know about him? Nothing. Obama is the candidate of change. I guess so because Arnold Schwarzenegger wants to run for president. What's he tell people? Amend the Constitution. And what's Barack Obama say? Nothing. I'll step on the Constitution, he's basically saying. 